Kelly will score. Touchdown, Charger. Here's Herbert. Flush to his right. And he takes it in for a Charger touch. Today, from SoFi Stadium in Inglewood, California, this is the National Football League. Just a couple miles east of the LAX airport, just off the 405 and the 105 at the beautiful SoFi Stadium in Inglewood. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the Seattle Seahawks and the Los Angeles Chargers. Two former division rivals in the old AFC West, the Seahawks and Chargers are underway. D.J. Dallas to return it from his end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result, and he opted for the touchback. They'll start out on the ground with Carson. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Carson. And not a whole lot there. Maybe a yard to the 27. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. Here's Locke. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It goes as a gain of nine, and it moves the chains. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now it's Carson. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. Joey Bosa so strong, able to fight his way in there to make the play. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. Now Locke. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And that nearly intercepted. Well, for a guy known for his hands defensively, that's a ball he probably thinks he should have come up with. Instead, it's fourth down. On fourth down, ready to punt Michael Dixon. And look here, it's an opening drive fake. And this is going to blow up in their faces. Not only do they not get the first, they're going to lose big yardage as well. But there are times to run that fake, and there are times to not run it. And this, without question, would fall in the latter category. Well, I don't know about without question, partner. I think we should look at the analytics on this one because, oh, yeah, the analytics say, yeah, without question. You should have gone ahead and punted the football because now not only did you not get it and you really had no chance to, what a short field that you turned the ball over to the other offense. Now it's Herbert. And it's caught. Nice gain of eight that time, and it's second and goal. <laughs> Kelly will score. Touchdown, Chargers. So a good job there, Charles, taking advantage of the short field, and they score first, punching it in on the short touchdown run. I love the theme there, right? They didn't have to do anything big on that drive. Took advantage of where they were on the field, took it downfield, put the ball in the end zone. The only thing big on that drive, the six on the scoreboard. 
Dustin Hopkins on now to add the extra point. And the Chargers grab the 7 nothing lead. The drive there only spanning three plays. And it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. Seattle's offense coming back onto the field, ready for their second drive. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. On the ground, this is Rashad Penny. Four yards to pick up, first down. Now that's the way to do it. Hand it to someone with vision and good footwork and add in a little bit of power, and you find a way to pick up first downs. They run it with Carson. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. And a pretty good burst there as he'll get this across midfield and down to the 46. Ten yards and a Seattle first down. They run again with Carson. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. On second down, here's Penny, and he stopped immediately there. Call it no gain on the play as it takes us to the end of the first quarter. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. It's into a double team, and it's intercepted. And the Chargers are going to take possession here at their own 33. Well, I get what he was trying to do. He was moving to his right and trying to shift the coverage, but instead he shifted the coverage also to the right and threw right into it for an interception. The Chargers get set to go here for their second drive. And just two series in here, Charles, but everything's gone to script so far. They got a touchdown on their first drive. Their defense holds, and now they've got a chance to take a two-score lead. And to co-sign with you, exactly the start they scripted up. And really, that kind of start, that can set the tone for the game for them. Jordan Brooks on the tackle. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go. And sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. Even against double coverage, he found enough of an opening for a noticeable gain. Two guys on him, yet he finds a way to uncover downfield for the completion. They'll try to pick up the first with Eckler. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. They're able to convert with a gain of four. First down, and they stick with Eckler. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down, second and right at a yard. That was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. This is third and one, very likely four down territory, even if they don't get it, though. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. On fourth down, J.K. Scott ready to punt it away. And now on fourth and one, it's a fake, and the gamble pays off. They get the first. Well, the fake punt gets only a yard, but that's enough to pick up the first. 
Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. Being chased out left. And they'll wind up getting this with all the way down inside the 20. Turns out to be a great idea to tuck that one. Good for 24 yards. I am willing to bet that he got a monster grin on his face when he saw what was happening. Man coverage was so committed to denying a big throw that it pulled attention away from him, and he had an easy lane to hit, and hit it he did. Running on first down, Eckler. And just a couple yards there down to the 17. Watching that play unfold and watching him complete it brought back memories of doing all those pursuit drills to make sure you don't over-pursue and let a guy get a cutback lane on you. He did that very well. You praised him on tape yesterday for the angles that he takes to the ball. Took a great angle right there. That'll go for a gain of seven. And third and one now. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. It'll be a nickel look here for the Seahawks on third down. Out of the gun, Herbert. And this is going to be incomplete. Like what I see so far out of this defense because they've been showing their best coverages on third down. So far, only allowed one conversion on a handful of attempts. One area of their game plan that they've executed to perfection. And he has the first down before he's tackled at the five. A solid pickup of five and a very solid fourth down conversion and defensively pure frustration. Herbert. And he's going to go down. Sacked back at the 13-yard line. It'll go as a loss of eight and a tough result there on first and goal. Well, that's not how you hope to draw it up there on first and goal, CD, by taking a sack like that. Well, they tried to be aggressive, didn't they? They didn't want to try and worked their way past the goal line. They wanted it right there on that play. Unfortunately, it backfired against them. Now they have to try and pick it up here moving forward. So first down went in the wrong direction. They're at the 13-yard line. here, second and goal. Back to throw here, Herbert. And that's complete to the right side. It's Allen. And he is out of bounds, getting it down to the 10. This has been a long drive. You got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? Here's Herbert. Flush to his right. And he takes it in for a charger touchdown. Justin Herbert, a 10-yard touchdown run. And the Chargers go up by two touchdowns. That's a tough one there defensively because look at the stops they got on first and second down and it's first and second and goal. And then on third down, they cover the receivers, but they leave an alley open for him to find, and he does. That is frustrating. You do almost everything right, and he still ends up in the end zone. Here's Hopkins now for the extra point. And it's good to make it 14-0. That drive, a long one, spanning 15 plays. And it was finished off with a 10-yard touchdown scamper. Dallas now to return it from his end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. As they take over with exactly one minute to go. And the catch is made here by Tyler Lockett. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. A good pick up there, a 22. When you struggle on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. On a determined run there as he's going to take this all the way down near the 40. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And it'll be incomplete. Good job staying with him defensively. And it'll bring up second down. 
An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. On the draw, this is Penny. And he'll bring this one inside the 35. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. But this play sequence was really kind of called in reverse. Incomplete pass on first and ten. Nice run on second and ten when probably everyone was expecting them to throw the football. Now, if you're the defense, what are they going to do on third down? You're a little off balance. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the ten. Now, that's all about making something happen as a quarterback because instead of forcing something on third down, how about him buying some time outside of the pocket, waiting for someone to come open? And when he did, he put it on him for a big play and a first down. So we have reached halftime here and an 11. Apologies to coach, cut him short. We'll talk to him post game. We got business to get down to. Third quarter action, ready to go. So the Chargers will start the second half with the lead and the football as we're underway in the third quarter. Fielded just outside the goal line. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. Second and 10 now from the 27. Justin Herbert looking to pass. He's got a man. That's Keenan Allen. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Going to throw on third down with Herbert. On the screen, this is Eckler. And this play going to be stopped in its tracks at the 32 and obviously well short of the first down. They'll get only a yard out of that, and it'll bring up fourth down. Here's J.K. Scott now. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. So the special teams penalty costs some yardage there as they come out on first and 10. Here's Carson. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. And they'll get to him quickly here as he'll get a yard, just a yard to the 22. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped him. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. To throw it is lock. That's caught over the middle by Fan, And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. A lock finding Fan for the Seahawk first down. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. Well, we saw a lot of negative plays that resulted in plenty of lost yardage in the first half. And that trend is continuing here. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Lock going to throw. Now the ball comes loose. And picked up by the Chargers. And they take possession of the football and have it at the 36-yard line. 
And that play just looked a little helter-skelter from the start. That's the risk as a quarterback. Once you take off with that football, you might fumble it, and he did. And he was going for the reward, which is gaining yardage, breaking down a defense. But you're right about the risk. Always lurking out there. Someone always trying to get to the football. Try to find a place to cover up and slide and protect what you've earned. Now he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. And the ball on the 30. Here's second and four. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. They give him about four on the play, but he's marked short, so it'll be third and about the length of the football. Once more, here's Eckler. And he will have the first before he's brought down right on the chalk of the 20. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. Up the middle with Eckler. This will be a five-yard pickup as they move it from the 20 to the 15. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. On second down, Spiller looking for space. And able to surge forward for about five yards down to the 10. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Herbert on third down now. To the back of the end zone, but too high. Over everybody and incomplete. Herbert jogs off, and out comes Dustin Hopkins to take this kick for L.A. on fourth down. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. Hopkins' kick is good, and they will stretch the lead now to 17-3. to So that may be not a knockout blow, but I, I suppose certainly every little bit helps when you're trying to salt one away in the fourth. Well, the possibility of being beaten by two late touchdowns or at least sent to overtime does exist. But time, definitely a big factor at this stage of the game, is in their favor. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. And last time they coughed it up, led to a field goal. They're fortunate that it only led to a field goal, but still, they're not happy about it. Could you sense the relief, though, when they only gave up the field goal? And they were able to trot back out on the field and start this drive. A little more pep in their step because they didn't cost their team a touchdown. But they know they've got to do it a lot better than they did on the last possession. The coach will just be relieved, though, if they recoup with a score here, right? I think Coach will be ecstatic to see them pick themselves back up and now take it downfield and punch in the end zone without turning it over. Now, yes, a two-possession game, but a good chunk of time on the clock, so they have the ability still there to run it on second and short but maybe they need to pick it up a bit. You're right. They did pick up the first down there, but they, as you mentioned, they have to pick up the pace now because it's a two-possession game. They've got to get there twice to make sure they have a chance to win. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And incomplete on the deep ball. Give it big credit for his coverage right there because when he saw the route break deep, he stayed in position to prevent a completion while avoiding any risk of a flag. And the Chargers rush is going to get there. Down he goes. Credit the sack to Joey Bosa. A lot of ground to cover here for Locke and the Seahawks. Third and long after that sack. Out of the gun. They'll look to throw. On the run. He'll let this go deep right side. Throw it across his body, and it's intercepted. Picked up by J.C. Jackson. This spot in the fourth quarter with that deficit had to throw the football. Unfortunately, there's the risk of big turnover. And you know you're going to be throwing against nickel, dime, all sorts of exotic defenses, but you have to do it anyway. Ordinarily, you might want to run the football a little bit, try and get them out of it. But as you noted, this time of the game, this point on the clock, had to throw it. Now the L.A. offense ready for this next possession. They have to like the position that they are in. Fourth quarter, two-score lead, and now the ball back after the INT. Eckler now between the tackles. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. Here's Herbert. 
And that throw behind his man. He missed him incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. On third down, here's Eckler. And that little deke, the juke move that we saw, able to give him the first down yardage before he's brought down. 45 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. It's Eckler again. And he maneuvers up the middle for three. And it's second down. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. A give. Eckler running to the right. Oh, and fine work there as he gets this thing down to the 11-yard line. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Charger first down. So it's Charger football as we welcome you back from the two-minute warning. Now a first and 10 at the 11. And the scoreboard on their side, they're just looking to melt away these final couple of minutes and put this one in the left-hand column. And here he'll get it down to the 7. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. The handoff, it's Eckler. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. The eighth play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. On the give, this is Eckler. And he is going to lose yardage here. A three-yard loss, fourth down now. You talk about closing in a hurry as a safety and run support. Not only did he get a good run in, he gave him a pretty good pop, too, and finished off the play behind the line of scrimmage. And well, they could just run this clock out, but here is the field goal unit on fourth down. This to make it a three-score game late. So this one's over. It's in the win column for the L.A. Chargers. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second-half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. So long, everybody.